Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be transforming this entryway closet from this to this. So if you want to see how I achieved this and everything I did in a step-by-step -step tutorial, keep watching. The concept for this design was a rather simple one. I decided on something cosy and inviting because after all, this is most likely the first or second place that you were greeted with when you come back home because you have to remove your shoes, your coats and other things. So I chose a bohemian style because it is warm and in Inviting. Now for the execution, the first thing I did was to paint the size of the walls and also the ceiling to kind of corner in the space by using a dark colour which I chose black. This was to make the pivotal focus, the middle of the wall, on which I was going to be applying a wallpaper afterwards. In order to do this, I taped the corners to protect the paint from transferring to the middle wall with some painter's tape. Then I proceeded to paint the walls. I started the corners with a brush. This is a satin finish paint. When I was done with the corners, I finished up the job with a roller. Once I finished with the painting and letting it dry, it was time to deal with the middle wall, which as I mentioned earlier, I was going to put wallpaper on it. So using a level, I made sure the beginning of the wall was straight because this dictates how well your wallpaper is going to come out. In this case, the wall was straight, but if your wall isn't straight, it's best for you to draw a straight line, which will indicate the beginning of the wallpaper placement. This is very important if you don't want any crooked wallpaper on your wall, you need to not skip this step. Once I got my wallpaper, I measured out the length of the wall, offsetting it by a few centimeters at the top and at the bottom, making sure that they were all in sync and there was fluidity then cutting them out.
When I was done and made sure that everything was in sync, I went ahead and started applying them. These are peel and stick wallpaper, so all you have to do is peel them and stick them to the wall. My technique is to peel as I go while using my hands in a smoother to make sure that there are no air bubbles trapped in the paper. If there's an error, since it's a peel and stick wallpaper, you can literally pull it out and stick it back up. Now we are done with the application of the wallpaper, we're going to add a functional bench and a storage for shoes and other things. The idea was to add a shoe rack but not a traditional one, one that could perform as somewhere to sit as well as put your shoes on when you are done taking them off. So I got this shelf in a very dark brown colour, then I installed back the wired shelving to add some baskets on. Remember to always make sure everything is straight and balanced. Investing in a level is something you need to do. If you don't have one, you need it. For any DIY project, we want it to look professional, so we need it to be straight. Once I was done, I attached this light fixture, then some baskets. Storage is always encouraged and the thing with baskets is they help your space always give the illusion of being organized as you can literally shove things in where they are not visible. I added some artificial hanging plants I added more storage baskets blankets, pillows, more plants and personal items and now for the final reveal. Let's remember what it looked like before. And what it looks like now. Let me know what you think in the comment section as well as if you have questions as well. Don't forget to subscribe for more DIY videos like this and I'll see you soon.